Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting us. What we want to show in the end is a life system that will help foster healthy conversation and start, stop cyberbullying online. So just a moment. Perfect. So today I would love to talk about the evolution of different methods of artificial intelligence and see if artificial intelligence could play a good role in helping preventing cyberbullying and online violence. Like quick statistics, um, there are 2.4 billion online uh, players uh, online which play online games in the world. And 57% of young people experience cyberbullying and bullying and other kind of violences in online games. Online games becoming also the grooming ground for sexual predators, extremists, and a lot of new and bad stuff is going on in online games. And 22% of young people quit playing online games because they were attacked. And here another statistics that 64% of young people were trolled in online games or 40% get like sexual messages, unwanted sexual content. So this is the reality of online games. And we, when we look on that, and some people will say that technology created that problem of cyberbullying, we, we may ask if technology can help. If technology can help uh, in this subject. So can artificial intelligence be a part of the solution? Let me guide you to a landscape of different kind of tools and solutions uh, they're out there to, to help. So profanity filters. Simple profanity filters are used since the 90s. And uh, they filter certain keywords like sex or fuck or di different kind of names. They're pretty effective. They're very good, but they're great for very young children. Because um, teenagers figure out a different way than using bad words to attack or bully other persons. And um, also, profanity filters create the scantrop problem. Do you know what the scantrop problem is? Oh, there, there is, uh, there is this, the city of scantrop, and no one could register an email from the city because the, the profanity filter in Google was thinking that scantrop is like find the word can inside. So there were there were really many many errors, but the systems are effective for very small children, and there is artificial intelligence for parental controls. How does it work? So the parent installs an app on on its child iPhone or phone, and get access to all social media streams. So if there's someone will be talking about drugs, or suicide, or will be attacking the child over social media. The app will raise alarm so the parent can look closely and find if something going on or not. This is a really great solution, but also for very young kids because teenagers won't give the access to, to social media accounts uh, to their parents. Um, and, and, and currently we use AI, and this is the state of the art. This is how it's used by Facebook, Google, on the big platforms of the world. That if there is something happened, we need to report that. Say, someone attacked us. There is something which attacks our beliefs, views, us, us, or us as a person. And then artificial intelligence will help find the right candidates. And a human moderator will look on that and figure out, is there something going on or not? This is the current state-of-the-art model. But <clears throat> the more people working in Facebook now in content moderation than in any other areas of that, and we can, and this is a good model, it's, it's, it's a great progress, but only 20% of kids will report that something happened. And sexual predators, they have their own way of grooming and attracting the child, so they become immune to this kind of systems. And, and when we look, so it's easy to train, you can create such a system in different languages, but the problem is that mm, it's a post-factum model. It means the damage is done. Someone already attacked a child, uh, a sexual predator, or child has been bullied, and after something we can call like the police. And that's the current paradigm in, in preventing violence. And 
The future direction, what we are at Samurai and a lot of great guys working on, is an autonomous system that listens to the conversations of children in the online games, detects cyberbullying or violence, and blocks before it reaches the child. It's like a protection that is not post factum, but before something happens, we can block the user, we can block the message, we can do certain different things. And uh, how does it work? So, for example, when someone is attacking others, we are making social interventions saying, hey, why are you doing that? We, we try to work with norms, with different kind of approaches, and figuring out, and artificial intelligence is figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And when there are users in online games which are attacking and attacking diehard users, so we can block them automatically and put them out of the, out of the equation. But the most important thing is blocking the harmful messages before it reaches a child. And, and that's what, what artificial intelligence does. It reads all the messages and finds out, is it cyberbullying or just a normal conversation? What's going on inside? And blocking online predators. Uh, the system spots online predators. A human will verify, and then we need to follow uh, the law in those kind of present moments. And this is a, our first use case, uh, uh, who knows Reddit. Reddit is like an online forum with 180 millions of users, and we put our artificial intelligence in, in part of the nasty places like men's rights, incels, and those kind of people. And here you can see this was the violence level before, oh, before we, were, we were making intervention, the red line is when we start working w w with Reddit, so there was a little bit more violence because we were like trying to, to combat certain stuff. But in the end, as you see the green line, the automatic system without any human moderators were able to lower the violence 45%. And this is a huge win. That, that's a huge win. And, and what we love about this, uh, about this experiment that 81% of all users where we make just only one intervention, you shouldn't do that, you might hurt someone, work with empathy, etc. they never did it again. So there is like something we can really fight for because most of the people can change. And mm, what we've seen that if our robots, the samurai, were like joining the conversation and protecting someone, other users were joining in, like the bystanders, and also like protecting, helping, maintenance. So we see a lot of positive interaction between artificial intelligence and humans, where artificial intelligence sometimes pretend to be a human and be the first to react, but other will follow. And we see people censoring themselves, deleting the comments, and sometimes just saying, sorry, I had a bad day. Um, and this is how people actually see James. James is our artificial intelligence on Reddit. So some people see it's like a hippie because he's so kind, a good dude, Mr. Mackey from South Park, Mr. Rogers, or the whitest of night. And because we are constantly asking to, put, to be more kinder, uh, some people said that we should put down the LSD from, from, from our system. Um, I'd love to share another project, what we're involved in with automatic AI. So we are working for, for the um, UK police and monitoring hate during and after Brexit, hate crimes. In this use case, we are looking on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube to see what is going on and what kind of hate in this use case is against Poles who lives in, in the UK. So for example, we learn new words from our artificial intelligence engine. Poopland is my favorite one. Which, which, which we understood like how people can describe Poland. But, but mm, showing the real data that um, insults are the most common things on Twitter or YouTube, or requesting to leave the country. But third is very interesting, is accusing of producers and, and discrimination, homophobia, et cetera, et cetera, which is like also very interesting data. So as you can see, I believe that we're coming to a new era now. Uh, that technology is becoming a part of the problem, a solution, not only part of the problem. And we are moving towards this old model like, okay, something happened, let's call the moderator and wait, like calling the police, into prevention. That stop, prevent, before the damage is done. 
And I, I see that this would be a huge trend all over the internet, online games, online communities, that we will see tools that will effectively be able a part of, of all, all, all the solution, but it will be blocked before someone can really uh, damage. We are also looking very closely on 4chan, 8chan. These are the specific communities where, where people get very, where that people get angry, amplify the anger, and, and a lot of school shooters. So the guys who take gu guns and then go to school and kill people are connected to 4chan, 8chan. So like the biggest dream and idea now in artificial intelligence, can we, looking, by looking on social media profile, prevent that someone is becoming a school shooter and go to schools and will kill someone. Can we do that? And one, one, one of the very interesting research shows that every, every guy who was a school shooter in the US in, in the last year, he was bullied before. So I think it's really, really important like, to, to, to make all kinds of alliances of technologies, smart people, educators, etc. To, to, to stop cyberbullying because the consequences that are, are growing, growing, and the victims becoming the new predators and attackers. Boom. Okay, it was fast, thank you. Could we see the, the Samurai in Action demo? So there is a service, Twitch, where people playing games and other people are watching. The most popular have like three million, four million followers. This is the new thing for young people. They are actually not playing a game, but watching how someone is playing a game. And Twitch is known for, for a place which is a very dark and dangerous place. So what you can see here on the left is a conversation which is going on about the game of Legion on the left. And on the right, you can see that samurai read 700 messages, excuse me, and made 20 interventions like, hey, use words carefully, or hey, keep it friendly. Someone asked, are you a retard? Insulting is rude. Uh, someone said, nice job, imbecile. It's just rude. So different kind of interventions go are going on. And the yellow, the, the yellow seven, the messages, because they're sexual, they were blocking uh, in that way that no one could see them before. And we have three diehard users, three users that were blocked during my talk because they were insulting others and we could not do anything else than just block them for, from the stream. So, so as you can see, this is artificial intelligence in action. No humans there, reading the comments, reacting, re-educating, blocking the message or blocking the users. And we hope that, that we can make a change and a mark because online games becoming the, the modern kindergarten, becoming the place where, where kids will spend most of the times. And yes, thank you. <laughs>